How to make a blog visible to some people, such as teachers, and not others, such as students. If you look at my Moodle front page here, you see I've got a blog that I only want teachers to be able to see, not guests or students. But there are two problems. First of all, I'm not logged in and yet anyone in the world can see this blog. And secondly, once I do log in, like now, everyone, students and teachers can see it. So the first thing we need to do is to shut this block off from non-logged in guest users. And to do that, I'm going to turn on the editing and then I'm going to go to the block itself and click the icon that says Assign Roles. What we need to do is to override the permission of guests to be able to view this block. We click on Override Permissions, Guests, and it takes us to some buttons and we are going to choose the button that says Prevent View Block. We click Prevent, then we click Save Changes. Then if I log out of Moodle and you can see that I'm not logged in, now nobody can see that block. The next job to do is slightly harder because what we're going to do now is to only enable teachers to be able to see that block. To do that we need to create a brand new role by going to Site Administration, Users, Permissions. The reason for this is because on its front page Moodle is very democratic and it doesn't make the difference between a teacher or a student so we need to specify to Moodle precisely who we want to be able to view that block. So we click on Permissions, Define Roles and we're taken to the Roles screen of Moodle Administration where you can see the traditional roles that we've dealt with before such as Teacher and Student we're going to click the button down at the bottom where I put the red arrow, add a new role and make our new custom role. Call it what you like, we could call it Teacher Block Viewer for example. Whatever you put in the description are just some useful words to remind you in the main role screen. And then I'm not going to add anything extra, do anything fancy with this role, it's just a plain basic role. So I'm going to scroll right down to the very bottom past all the permissions, the prevent, the allow, to the very bottom and click add a new role. And then at the bottom of the screen there it is, teacher block viewer. So what we need to do now is to go back to the teachers block, click on the assign roles icon and assign our teachers to the teacher block viewer role in that block that we've made on the front page. So we click the blue words Teacher Block Viewer and then we're presented with a screen on the right with all the potential users out of our Moodle and we simply select the ones that we want to view this block and then we move them across into the empty block on the left by using the Add arrow. I'm just going to pick one at random, Mr. Teacher. I've moved him across so remember him and then we'll test it out and see if he can use it shortly. Now we need to ensure that our teachers are actually allowed to view the block. So we click on Override Permissions for Teacher Block Viewer. And unlike with the guest where we click Prevent, this time we're going to select Allow, press the button and press Save Changes. But that's not enough because we must also prevent any authenticated users being able to view it. So we click Authenticated User and just as we did for the guest, we press the Prevent button and press Save Changes. Some people actually have student as the default role on their front page and if you do you'll need to go through the same override permission process for the student role as well. After that the only thing we need to do is check it out so let's go back to our front page. We're not logged in, we can't see the block. Let's log in as a regular student, authenticated user, no permissions and we can't see the block, it's not visible. I'm going to log out as this regular student. Now I'm going to log in as Mr. Teacher. You remember we added him as a teacher block viewer. And if we log in, he should be able to view the block. And indeed he can. So it's obviously worked.